Hi guys, Chet here. Today I'm going to compare Microsoft Planner and Trello. I'll compare their features, pricing, user experience, integrations, customer support, and more. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear idea of which platform really is the right choice for you. So without further delay, let's get started. First off, let's break down what each platform actually is designed for. Microsoft Planner is part of the Microsoft 365 suite, making it a natural choice for businesses already using Teams, Outlook, or SharePoint. It's all about lightweight task management and collaboration in a familiar interface. Trello, on the other hand, is built around boards, cards, and lists. It's highly visual, incredibly intuitive, and works well for teams that really prefer a simple drag and drop style interface to manage tasks and projects. Now, when it comes to features, Trello keeps things minimal by default, but lets you build on top of it. You get unlimited boards, checklists, due dates, and power ups to add automation, calendar views, and integrations, and even AI tools in the higher tiers. It is flexible enough to manage anything from content calendars to agile sprints. Microsoft Planner, on the other hand, offers a similar card and board system, but it's more tightly integrated with Microsoft 365's tools. You can assign tasks, set deadlines, add attachments, and visualize everything through buckets, charts, and calendars, especially if you already rely on Teams or Outlook. Next up, that user experience. Trello is incredibly easy to learn and to use. Anyone can set up a board in minutes and start collaborating. The UI is clean, colorful, and very beginner friendly. Microsoft Planner is also quite simple, but it does feel more like an add-on than a standalone app. It is designed to work alongside other Microsoft tools rather than act as a full project management solution all by itself. If your team is already deep into the Microsoft ecosystem, then it blends nicely. If not, it might feel a little limiting. In terms of integrations, Trello plays well with dozens of third-party tools like Slack, Google Drive, Jira, and more. You can also use Trello's automation tool, Butler, to set up rules and triggers that save time. Microsoft Planner integrates seamlessly with the Microsoft 365 environment, but offers limited flexibility outside of that. It's ideal if you're sticking to the Microsoft stack, but not great if you're mixing platforms. Now let's take a quick look at pricing. Microsoft Planner is included for free with Microsoft 365 subscriptions. If you need more advanced features, there are a few paid options. Planner Plan 1 costs $10 per user each month. Planner and Project Plan 3 costs $30. And Planner and Project Plan 5 is $55 per user each month. All of these plans are billed annually. On the other hand, Trello offers four pricing plans. There's a free plan that costs nothing. The standard plan is $5 per month. The premium plan is $10 a month. The enterprise plan is $17.50 per month. So which one should you go with? If your team already uses Microsoft 365, then Microsoft Planner is the easy choice. It's simple to use and it fits right into your workflow. But if you want a tool that's more flexible, visually easy to use, Trello is a great option. It works well as your team grows and connects with lots of other tools. All right, that's it for this video. If you found it helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.